This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey, Larry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical Channel, and I want to welcome you to a new series here on the channel, the Made in America series by Bravo Company USA. We're going to focus only on guns made and fielded and designed here in the United States. Some very famous, some not so famous. Today we have one of the most famous of them all, Thompson submachine guns, specifically the M1928A1. So let me give you a little bit of history of this gun. Thompson was developed in the late World War I era really made its name during the gangster era in the prohibition with probably the most famous thompson incident being the saint valentine's day massacre those were commercial guns made in the 1920s exceptionally well made some of the most beautifully made small arms in u.s history now you morph into a gun like this which was kind of a transitional gun the 1928a1 was a gun that was essentially made to commercial standards what was made for military service Instead of the vertical pistol grip up front, you had a horizontal handguard. Of course, the cuts compensator, 12 inch barrel, including the cuts compensator, finned barrel, of course, one piece steel receiver, but it also was adaptable to take box magazines such as the 20 or 30 round magazine you have here, as well as drums, 50 and 100 round drum. Charging handles on top, of course, slotted so you can see the sights through it. Lyman adjustable rear sight, which of course had the ability to fold it up an adjustable ladder and you have a peep sight or you can lay it down and have a pistol rear sight with ears. Also, as you can see, detachable wooden buttstock, which is standard on the Thompson and standard pistol grip on the Thompson and your controls, where you have a safety and fire lever separate of the semi-automatic and full automatic fire lever. This particular gun fires from the open bolt, which means when you pull the trigger, the bolt goes forward, strips around into the chamber and fires. And when the gun's empty on an empty magazine, it locks the bolt to the rear. Cyclic rate of fire of this gun, right around seven, 800 rounds per minute. One of the interesting things about the Thompson, it's one of the easiest guns to fire from the hip that there is. My good buddy, Ken Hackathorn, dialed me into that years ago. And you actually, with practice, you can get pretty effective from the hip at close range. Why is that? The drop of the stock. It's not such a great gun for coming up and, and using the iron sights to get hits. You can certainly do that if you practice, but the length of pull is a bit long. In a lot of ways, it was a gun that was kind of designed to be fired under the armpit, hip level, so to speak. And like I said, with practice, you can get some great hits with it. Cuts compensator works fairly well. The later versions of the Thompson were greatly simplified. The M1, M1A1, they did away with the fin barrel, they did away with the cuts compensator, they simplified the rear sight, the charging handle went on the side. They also did away with the fact that you could take drum magazines, they simplified the gun. By World War II standards, the gun was very much still overbuilt, but it certainly wasn't overbuilt anything like the 28A1 or the 1921 series that you saw before World War II. We're fixing to light up this classic, almost 11 pounds, so it's one of the heaviest submachine guns ever fielded, also one of the most controllable. You guys let us know what other Made in America guns that you want to see on this channel. Ammo courtesy of Magtech, Thompson M1928A1, coming your way.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.